OpenAI just released Code Interpreter for ChatGPT Plus users, so hopefully you have access to if you are a member of that. So I thought in this video we are going to take a look at how we can use this. So we're going to test out some Tesla stock price data sets. We're going to test out some sleep analysis data set I found on Kaggle. I'm going to test out some images from Midjourney. Can it read those? I don't know. We're just going to have to explore that. Uh, my content calendar, I want to try if I can see some video ideas from all my titles from my YouTube videos. I want to test out some Python code. Can it explain that? Can it can create something visual from that? Okay, so a lot of things we have to explore here. So like I haven't tried this before, so this is going to be my first impressions. So yeah, let's just give it a spin. Let's just start by showing you how you can activate this if you are a Plus user. It's quite simple. What you have to do is just go down here, click on settings, go to beta features and just click on code interpreter here and just select GPT-4 here and code interpreter. And that's basically all you have to do. You can see you have this little plus sign down here and here is where you can upload files. So we are going to start off with the sleep and lifestyle data set. I just downloaded here from Kaggle. So this is a great place to find data sets if you want to test this out. So this data set is basically comprehensive sleep metrics, lifestyle factors, cardiovascular health. So it's basically a kind of a diverse uh, data sets. So we are going to ask this and see what kind of information we can use code interpreter to get out of this data set. So we're just going to start by asking simply explain what this data set is. Let's just do that. So we can see we have it uploaded here. So just click submit. And now you can see it's working. So basically what it's doing here is creating a Python code. And it looks all at this data set using something called pandas as PD. So here you can see this data set appears to be health, sleep and lifestyle habits for various individuals. So we have gender, age, occupation, sleep duration, quality of sleep, physical activity level. So basically it reads everything we need to know about this data set. But this is fine. But what can we do to get something out of this? So I just want to type in what trends are this data set showing us. Let's try that. Remember, this is new for me too. Wow, this is just great. Look at this. So you can see numerical variables. So the average age is 42 years old. The average participant sleep for about 7.13 hours. Quality is a score of 731. So we get these really nice details here. The average heart rate is about 70 beats per minute with a range and we have daily steps. All of this, but I want to kind of see this in a visual way. So let's ask just ask it like so let's just ask it show four interesting ways to display the data visually oh, wow that was quick so here you can see we have distribution of age sleep duration by gender daily step versus physical activity level count of sleep disorders okay so let's take a look at the the visual representations here so we have age on this uh, axis we have count here so you can see yeah about 42, 3 something here is the most count. We have sleep duration by gender. So uh, females, so maybe this is like the average. And here we have the distributions. Uh, I'm not a data scientist, but I found this very interesting. And here you can see we have some kind of plots. So we have daily steps on this axis. We have physical activity level here. So this goes up to like 90. And like 10,000, 90, yeah, I guess that. Count of sleep order, so non sleep apnea, insomnia. Okay. So, yeah, I guess we can get a lot of. Let's ask it something a bit strange. Let's ask, uh, give me a sec. So, let's just test this. Can you make a 300 word presentation of the data set for my meeting? Include visual graphs? Let's just try that and see what happens. Okay, this looks great. I guess it kind of missed on the, the images though. It doesn't come up, but this could save you a lot of time, right? So an overview of sleep, health and life cycle, lifestyle data set. Today we are exploring the data set with fascinating insights to sleep habits, health parameters. Uh, we have all the data, 374 individuals. Yeah, we have the age range, distribution of age, sleep duration. So what is there any conclusion? Yeah. 
This dataset provides valuable insights to the interplay between lifestyle habits and health parameters. Our next step will be to delve deep, deeper into this data, investigating potential correlations and trends that can help us understand and promote optimal sleep health. Thank you. This could save a lot of time if you have a lot of data sets you have to like present in a meeting. You can just put it in here, write me something like this and just spit it out, I guess. Very interesting. Let's change it up a bit and I want to upload a Python code and ask a bit about that. Okay, so we just start a new window. We click on upload file. Uh, I'm going to go to my Python codes here. Let's just find, I think I made this yesterday. Uh, let's open that and explain this Python code to me. Let's try that. Yes, perfect. So I love this. So you can see we have uh, this script appears to be a tool for extracting and processing trend trending technology and news data from YouTube and the web. Yes, that's exactly what it is. So we have library imports, file operation functions, open a key, transcribing audio, YouTube video extraction, everything. Yeah, perfect. So can we do something visual with this? Let me try something. Let's just try. Can you create any visual representation of the Python script? Okay, so I guess it gave it a best try. So load the open key, define YouTube channel. Yeah, this is basically what's gonna happen. But uh, it didn't get any like good visual representation. But I guess it's something. So let's try something else. Okay, so I just went over to Mid Journey. I created this image here. So this is basically just New York. And you can see we have a woman here looking over, I guess it's Manhattan. So let's try to upload this to the code interpreter to see if it can recognize this. Okay, let's just click upload, pick image one. Okay, what can you tell me about this image? Okay, it seems that I can't uh, perceive the image you upload because of my current capabilities. Okay, so there's no visual recognition or interpretation. I can perform various analyses on the image, size, color distribution, and other meta metadata. Just tell me all you know about the image. Let's just see that. Okay, so we just have size, mode, and dominant color. So we don't have any like multimodal stuff yet. I wasn't expecting that to be honest. Uh, so no computer vision, I guess. But that might come in the future and that can be very interesting. Okay, that's fine. Let's move on to something else I wanted to try. So let's pick code interpreter. I have my content calendar here on Notion. So I exported this file and I want to see if I can get something useful out of this. So let me just go here, upload file, uh, pick this uh, content calendar, okay. And just uh, ask, explain the data set to me. Okay. This data set appears to be content calendar. Okay, yeah. Focus about AI. So we have name, assign. Yeah, okay. Deadline, link, media. Interesting. And two, three. Let's show visually the distribution of the most used keyword in the titles. Let's try that. Oh wow, this was cool, right? So we get these, I've seen this. So you can see most of my title is ChatGPT, GPT, AI, Prompt Engineer. Wow, I love this. This was very cool. So let's go looking at all the data in this data set. Can you make some correlations and brainstorm five more video ideas based on the titles, okay? Okay, so we did actually get some ideas. So we got the role of AI in interior design, a mid-journey exploration. From ID to reality, the life cycle of an AI agent. Yeah, I guess we got something. Uh, I probably wouldn't, wouldn't push this. Maybe mastering prompt engineering with AI agent? Hmm, maybe. But at least it's very interesting. Uh, I think I want to finish off with one more data set and try to dive deeper into some more visual representations because I think that's very interesting. So I'm back over here on Kaggle. You can just make an account here and we got some trending data sets. So let me just, uh, should we grab the Tesla stock? Yeah, let's grab the Tesla stock, five years historical data. So we just click on that and we can download this. Okay, so let me just unzip that, head back to ChatGPT and try to make some cool visual uh, aids from this data set. Okay, code interpreter, upload, 
let's pick the training data set. Uh, we know this is stock prices, right? So we think we're just going to go straight to some visual representations here. So let's just go create a visual representation of the stock price per month over the last three years. Can this work? Okay, so it's going to use date and close stock price. It's going to use a line chart. Yes, this is so good, right? Look at this. So we can't really hover it, but you can see the price here is around two to three hundred. We had the spike here in like late 2021. It was like 400 or something. And you can see like lately now we have a new spike in Tesla. So that's very interesting. Uh, I just want to ask it just some basic, simple questions. Uh, so let's do that. Let's just do simple. What can you tell me about the Tesla stock in the last three years? Okay, so basically I have the trend uh, seems to be an upward one, indicating the stock price has generally increased over the three-year time period. Okay, that's right. The notable the volatility in stock performance. The price has experienced a number of significant rises and falls during this period. Yeah, recent performance uh, seems to be a downward trend, but this, yeah. Uh, so it says, if you want more in-depth analysis or specific aspects you're interested in, like correlation with the market events, please let me know. So let's try show me visually how 10 perfect trades in the Tesla stock in the last three years would have looked like. Okay, so this is quite cool. So you can see here is the visualization of the Tesla stock price with 10 perfect trades market. The green represent buy actions and the red represent sell actions. So you can see here we should have bought, we should have bought, we should have sold, we should have sold, bought, sold, bought, sold. Yeah. And that, that is basically it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's not 10, but at least it shows like kind of simply how we can buy low and sell high, I guess. Uh, yeah, I guess there's a lot of stuff we can do with this. Uh, I just wanted to showcase a few things now. And yeah, very excited for Code Interpreter. Let me know, are you going to try this out? I think we are just barely touching what you can do with this. So I'm going to make a lot of videos about this. I'm going to test different stuff. So very interesting. Hope you all have access. Get to try this out. And yeah, have a great day. And I'll see you again soon.